cut coat, probably cashmere. He seemed amused by her question. The meat wagon hasn't gotten here yet, pretty lady. The firemen and EMS are inside, CSU, borough chiefs, more cops. Too many people, if you ask me. Well, what are they all doing, Mimi asked. What do you think they're doing? The old man, playful, sarcastic. I don't know, Mimi said. Interviewing witnesses, swiping souvenirs to auction on eBay, taking pictures of the body with her cell phone. The old man appraised Mimi with a hard, shrewd gaze, eyes that had seen everything but friendly. And though he was a man well past 70, it didn't stop him from flirting. Other big shots are on their way, he said, the commissioner for sure, maybe even the mayor. They all show up when someone high profile dies and the dying stinks. Excuse my asking, Mimi said after a pause. You a retired detective or something? Maybe I am, the old man said. And you, some kind of reporter or something? Mimi was about to lie, then decided against it and shook her head. Didn't think so, the old man said. You aren't dressed right. No tienes frío? The old man, taking in the hatless head, the gloveless hands, the ratty scarf carelessly wrapped around her neck, the inadequate jacket she wore over her jeans. Well, I was in a rush, Mimi said. Had no idea how cold it was. The old man offered Mimi his flask. Mimi hesitated, sorely tempted. She had not eaten all day. Go ahead, the old man urged in a gentle